ending. A different one. ending, yeah. Morning. Good morning. It's Friday. It's February 22nd. It's Andrew and Elaine here. And uh, I just said to Elaine, I, I'm not particularly sleepy, but I have a really sleepy face. I don't know what's wrong with you me. You okay? Yeah, I'm, do you know, I'm actually up since around half or quarter to five. I just naturally woke. Yeah. And I was just lying there then staring at the walls waiting for the alarm to go off. So anyway, uh, it's going to be a little bit different today than yesterday. We're going to see very uh, um, high winds in many places this morning mixed with showers. Now, uh, there was only a bit of a light drizzle when I was coming in, but it looked to be getting a bit heavier. And that's going to be the case across the county for the next few hours. It, there will be some dry spells and some sunny spells break through into the afternoon as well. And highs today, kind of the same, really, 12, 13 or 14 degrees. I thought it was supposed to be lovely for the next yeah. few days. And I told somebody in Wins and I was like, forecast lovely for Thursday and Friday and she's like I think it's just Thursday and I was like no I think Friday as well but yeah I, 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 I also said it to somebody and that, and then they corrected me and were like no I think it's going to be mild but I don't think it's going to be nice and I was like oh, right. oh okay just mild alright then that's not much good, really. No, it's you not. Know, you, you take the cold and dry any cold day. Cold like, and dry, yeah. yeah. Uh, so today's papers, let's see what's on the front pages there. A photograph of Pope Francis on the front page of the Times Ireland edition. Uh, he was arriving yesterday at the start of this four-day meeting in the Vatican. 190 cardinals are meeting and other clerics. It's aimed at stamping out paedophilia within the Catholic Church. That's in the front page of the Times Ireland edition. Hard Brexit could send Ireland back into deficit. Uh, that's being worn today on the front pages. And um, drone disrupts flights and raises fears of Gatwick chaos. We talked yesterday about the Gatwick drone chaos before Christmas and how police now believe that it was a disgruntled airport employee. Well, there was a drone at Dublin Airport yesterday, which also caused problems. Yeah. What are they going to do about this? It's a really I don't tricky know. one, isn't it? There was uh, a Ryanair flight, I think, was about to take off. It was just getting set and it was the pilot radioed back to the tower and said, actually, lads, I've spotted something here. They played the clip oh. last night on the news and he said, yeah, there's a drone flying about 200 feet abo- above ground. Uh, I there don't are know. some awful dopes in this world, isn't there? There really is. And actually, for anyone who's a drone flyer or a pilot, as they call themselves, ha! Um, I just found out last night the actual restriction that's in place. You cannot fly a drone within five kilometres of an airfield, which obviously includes an airport. So yeah. uh, that's the rule, anybody who's watching this who does use a drone. So if you're out in Ballybunion flying a drone, you're fine. But if you're within 5k, let's say, of Kerry Airport, that you cannot do that. That's according to the... Uh, Aviation Authority I, I saw them being interviewed On RT last night So okay. I didn't know That that was the actual range But there you mm-hmm. go um, The mail this morning says Everyone will be looked after The lucky siblings Who scooped this week's 175 million euro jackpot In the euro millions Have promised that Everyone in their family Will get a cut of the mega win Which is fairly nice cool. I think one of the papers Actually has a picture of them today Yeah so uh, The Mirror has got a photograph there Saying ah. of one of the winners Yeah well, well, look, there was the rumours yesterday that yeah, that next week they will go public because uh, the National Lottery said that it'll be, it's, I think it's 10 days before they actually get the money into their yeah. account to, to give up. Look, it's hard to, hard to hide 175 yeah, well, million euro. Well, when you're, tried. When, you're a, when you're a bunch of siblings as well from one particular yeah. area, I'd say it's quite quite easy to guess who it is. And sad news this morning, uh, daydream believer Peter dies, uh, monkey star, uh, has died at the age of 77. He's pictured in some of the pages there this morning. Yeah, Peter Tork was the bassist with the monkeys. I remember watching them, like in reruns now the TV shows yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we run <laughs> Saturday it. mornings um, it was on around the same time as uh, either before or after Batman the old Batman yes yeah so uh, so no uh, reruns <laughs> and um, I remember thinking that they were class and then as you get a bit older you're like whoa is that what TV was like in the 60s yeah Man. I watched the monkeys as well when I was younger Jesus yeah we that. definitely play the monkeys on the show yeah. as well this morning so yeah. let us know what song you'd like to hear yes yeah, so on the front page of the mirror Andrew there it is May Whirty is pictured is that am I saying her name right very unusual name oh yeah I don't know I think one of the okay I think one of the people involved in the national lot- lot- lottery who's on with Deirdre sometimes I think that's their surname Whirty Whir- am I right Whirty. which would be a strange yeah, well. Funny coincidence. Um, she's pictured stepping outside her, complete coincidence, obviously, yeah, absolutely. Uh, stepping outside her modest home in County Mead that's described as in the uh, Irish Mirror this morning. They're a level-headed family, we hear. They uh, had tea and sandwiches with the Lotto Chiefs after scooping their 175 million euro. Do you think they got all diva-esque about the sandwiches? Uh, possibly, but do you know what they had them when they were on their way home from the National Lottery? They stopped for food again. Do you know what yeah, they had? No. Carvery. Pulled in and had a carvery. Carvery dinner. So, <laughs> fairly nice. down to earth normal people, nice. it seems. Uh, so, <laughs> that's in the mirror today and uh, more about the Regency Hotel murder trial as well on the front page of today's mirror. Tragic lead investigator in Regency Hotel murder trial, Cullum Fox, uh, doing work of multiple Gardaí and his death has now led earlier this week to Patrick Hutch walking free uh, from court after the charges against him in that case were dropped. Uh, 
This is a worrying headline in the Examiner this morning. Rise of the machines threatens 40% of jobs in Ireland. 90% believe that large-scale automation is coming. They've given the risk factors and the towns most at risk. Good news, Kerry's not on the list of uh, towns that are most at risk from losing jobs and being completely turned into computers and robots. Uh, And then the towns least at risk were also not mentioned in that list either. Uh, so it's bases like uh, Longford, Cavan, Tipperary has a couple on this list, uh, Wexford, Waterford, but Kerry, as I said, isn't. But uh, yes, yeah, some, some survey that they carried out said that 40% of jobs could go as they're turning more and more to automation. And this is a mental story. So there's a post office. Let me just find out exactly where it is. Uh, it's, oh, it's in Sligo. Right, so there's a post office in Sligo. It's due to close next week. Mm-hmm. And now locals are going mad because... Um, on post are doing this kind of five million euro rebrand of all their post offices. Okay. And they put brand new signage on this post office, which is closing next week. Yeah, good job. Will I mean, people how get a, a week stupid. out of the nice new signage. Yeah, so the locals it's are going ridiculous. mad because it kind of gave them a bit of false hope. And then when the on post workers or the people who were doing the signage said, oh, no, 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 we're putting this up, but you're still closing next week. That's ridiculous. Waste of money. But there you go. That's on the front page of the examiners all this morning. Uh, some of the top trends today. Well, uh, John Barnes, a lot of people are talking about. We talked about John Barnes. Was it that he spoke out about... Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, yeah, two weeks yeah, ago, yeah. He's trending again. He's a fairly out, outspoken guy. Uh, he was on the BBC Question Time last night and apparently spoke a lot of sense. He talked about Brexit too and he spoke sense about Brexit when he didn't. When he said he didn't really know what was going on with Brexit. Like everybody else, People really. People responded to that. So uh, that's John Barron's trending. Yeah, Dublin Airport then is trending for the reason we mentioned with the drone yesterday. I think it was about quarter past 11 it happened and flights were shut down for about a half an hour delay. They got going again after that. But yeah, so Dublin Airport is also trending this morning. Uh, again, I think we should just do our own little kind of public information bit here. If you have a drone, lads, don't go anywhere near the airport. Don't be stupid. Yeah, there's actually lots of things you can't do with them. You probably need to, if you have your own, educate yourself about probably what you can and can't yeah. do. I know Michael Hatterham was on lately, a very good piece on Kerry Today about uh, he, he saw somebody flying a drone over the water when kids were swimming. Oh. And uh, yeah, he approached him and was told to F off basically by this guy. But I mean, that's disgusting That's as well disgusting, you know, yeah. you and actually it. on that note if you if you are somebody who's bought a drone and uses a drone just be careful as well as because they're expensive enough and if you can't fly it properly you will lose it I'm telling mm-hmm. you that like mm-hmm. just to be careful um, this Michael Jackson documentary is in the news again today and it's been in the news for the past few months consistently uh, leaving Neverland we're uh, edging closer to the release date of it well Michael Jackson's estate are now suing HBO the channel behind uh, this documentary for a hundred million dollars over that documentary it's had unbelievable advanced preview word of mouth Mm -hmm. so I'm definitely watching it yeah March 6th we'll get to see it on this side of the pond yeah Yeah. March 6th and 7th it's a two-parter and uh, I like this Nestle sending fans into a frenzy uh, reveals that a green tea flavoured Kit Kat will soon be available in the UK I don't know I don't know who what kind of person that would t- send into a frenzied state. You want to say turn on there, but yeah, go on. Sad. Sorry. Uh, Imagine hearing, oh, oh my, green maybe, tea flavor Kit Kat. Maybe it's oh, uh, maybe it's uh, on both sides of the coin. Maybe people are going into a frenzy because of how sick it'll be, or maybe because they think it would be, be sick at all because it'll be so subtle. Have you tasted green tea? It tastes Never. like nothing. No, it tastes like that. It tastes like nothing. T- like tastes like colored water. Uh, it's uh, not exciting. No, it's a complete haven't. gimmick. And if you're in a frenzy over that now, you probably need to get a new hobby. Yeah. Uh, right, we need to wrap up because we're about to go live on the radio. So you can tune in now. Uh, check us out on um, the website, radiocarry.ie. We're in till nine o'clock. Can I ask people something just before yeah. we go? You go in, right, it's payday for some people today. You go into Penny's today and you buy a new jumper, right? Yeah. Buy a new jumper, bog standard kind of sweatshirt, uh, woolly jumper, whatever. How many times are you going to wear it? We'll talk about that in the show, okay? How many times are you going to wear How it? How many times are you going to wear that jumper that you buy in somewhere like Penny's today, okay? Guesses are welcome All in the right. comments. Right, yeah. have a good weekend and Bye. we'll talk to you in a minute. Good luck.